Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sophia and this is my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to be doing the ultimate designer Depop thrift haul. So I have a huge pile of clothes over here that I've, I guess, accumulated over the course of this month, this week, and like a few other months as well that I really wanted to share with you guys. So I am the biggest thrifter. I absolutely love going to the thrift stores. I love Depop. I love eBay. And I love things that are old. <laughs> I love old things. But yeah, so um, I'm just going to guess show you all the things. Since they're all, I guess, vintage, mostly one of a kind, it will be difficult for you guys to get them. But I'll try to link some similar things, some of my favorite Depop sellers, and some of my, I guess, secret little places on the internet for vintage finds. So if you want to see what I got, then just keep on watching. So if you have been following me online for a while, or even just recently, you know my obsession with vintage Levi's and especially their 501s. So I have really been on the search for, because I do already have my staple 501s, the ones that fit me like a goddamn dream, highly recommend everyone get a pair, I decided to start looking for some 501s that have been reworked. I think that's so cool because I love the fit, but I, I also want to venture out to new styles. So I found these. These are the ultimate pair of leather fringe 501 chaps, whatever you want to call them. I found them on eBay. So they're just these red leather and they've got fringe down the leg and they've got the button fly with 501s. And it's kind of cool because they've actually been like, they've kept all the original 501 stuff, but all that's been taken out is like the pants. So everything else is leather and red is one of my favorite colors. This fit me so well, really distressed. Like whoever had these before wore these on a motorcycle or something, but they're a perfect length for me, really super heavy and I just love leather. Like you guys know my mom's a suede and leather buyer. It's just in my blood. So yeah, these were super good. I think I only got these for like 30 bucks online, so steal. Okay, so continuing on to another pair of pants. Chanel's one of my favorite brands. I like vintage Chanel the best, though. I don't really like what Carl Lagerfeld is doing right now. But nonetheless, I found these on Depop. I literally got these. They were listed five minutes before I bought them. I think the person who listed them had two pairs, an orange pair as well, which I really wanted initially. But um, they, that one already sold. So these sold so quickly and I was so glad I got them. So these fit me so well. These are authentic Chanel boutique um, pink trousers and they have like the little Chanel logo on each of the pocket. And the fly is buttons as well. I love that and I just love how they're pink. I had them hemmed to fit me a bit better. So yeah, these were super nice. And what is fine, honestly, working on my Chanel, vintage Chanel collection, like amongst me and my mom, like we've basically accumulated like almost everything vintage Chanel and I'm digging it. But I really like stuff that's different. Like I wouldn't have bought these if they were white or black or something. I just really liked how they were pink. And yeah, those were good. And then I think these were my last pair of pants. Oh my gosh, this is like all like basically designer. I'm so sorry. I mean, I'm not that sorry, but yeah. These are actually, let me just disclaim these before. I got these for myself for my 21st birthday. Um, I did really well this semester and I wanted to treat myself. These and also um, Gianni Versace is my um, one of my biggest style inspirations. Him himself, not his style, or not what he, sorry, not what he designed but just him as a person really inspires me. So um, I love watching all of the documentaries about him, his murder and that kind of thing, um, which I will be doing a video actually coming up on his murder. So um, it's such an interesting story, so little documentaries about it. And uh, it's kind of cool, I guess, to bring some other stuff to this channel other than like showing you what I have and that kind of thing. These are vintage Gianni Versace lamb leather trousers and they're super high-waisted and at the top here, as you can see, they kind of like cinch you in and um, yeah, these fit me so well. Everything that he did was really made for the real woman and I love it. I have some jackets here that I think I want to show you before the tops. 
I have this black leather jacket with a bunch of buttons and charms and stuff that I wear to death. Me and my cousin Sia, my best friend, we have like, I guess, kind of matching ones. I'm always wearing that online and I figured, why don't I get one in a color that I love? And so I ended up getting one in red. But this one is way different. This is like super, like my arm is dying right now. A super heavy red one. It's by the brand Averex. This is 100% leather. This is like an, a proper aviation one. It has like patches on it and that kind of thing. In my opinion, I find jackets, like leather jackets that people put patches on, like recently, quite tacky. I think it's kind of cool for them to already have these patches on them. Like how are you going to put a made in China cheap ass little patch on a beautiful lamb leather? Or jacket or something. You've ruined it. Just stop doing it. Guys, this trend is like dying. Gucci did it. It's done. Don't think it's ever going to come back. So try to like get some stuff that are like authentic. Don't just try to trace the trends. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is like kind of cropped as well, which I'm digging. And I just really like the color. My wardrobe is a lot of random colors. If you were to look in my closet, which I'll do a closet tour if you guys want to see, basically a fucking rainbow. And then there's like black. So yeah, I love this. Um, definitely going to keep me warm and it would look really dope with I'm gonna show you this as well actually, but like this red striped turtleneck. I almost had a sticker on it. Oh my god, that's a mirror thing. <laughs> it's like peeping out under. Oh, that's a look, yes. And I'll just show you this top while I'm at it. I know it's summer and I know that like no one should be looking for these things right now, but I don't really look for the seasons. I kind of just look for what I like. I really like this. It kind of reminds me of the guests um, for ASAP collaboration, like I have that top in the t-shirt version. I don't have it in the turtleneck because uh, I thought that was a bit much. I had so many things from that collaboration and I figured I don't need everything. I ended up just getting this plain one and I just kind of like it. In between all of the little stripes, there's like a line of silver glitter and I kind of liked it. It was cool. Kind of reminds me of Freddy. You know, killer vibes. I'm into it. <laughs> and the next thing is a sweater. Again, I'm sorry. It's winter in Australia, so let me just use that as an excuse to justify this. It's a beautiful purple sequin mohair sweater. It's super big and super slouchy. I'm gonna try it on right now, actually. Like, oh my gosh, this is just really cool. And I could just imagine, like, I can imagine wearing this with a super tight or super slinky cropped, like, tank underneath and a pair of, like, tried and true tight Levi 501s. Really hot. And also, like, a Baker boy hat or something. That would be cool. So then I have this. It's like a hoodie, but it's vest. I got this a while ago, actually. I think I got this at like Value Village or something with my cousin Sia like a few months ago. And it's just a hoodie, but it's a vest. And it's actually, who's that? Is that like a uh, Looney Tunes character? It's Harmanian devil or something. I don't know. I just thought it was cool. It's really, it's really thick and the armholes are super big as well. This would be really cool underneath like a tuxedo jacket or something to kind of, you know, juxtapose it. And then my last jacket I'm going to show you is this one. Um, I got this actually at a hospital thrift store. It's an authentic Giorgio Armani um, tuxedo jacket. It's bluey. It's blue and it has like metallic on it. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm just like, I love it. It's like super light. And I actually got another striped one as well. But I just figured I'd just show this one and see the other one on my Instagram. I'll like post a picture here of me wearing it. Basically the same cut as that one. I really like this. It's made in Italy, super nice. I got this for like 20 bucks, you guys. Don't underestimate some of those thrift stores. Really good. And then the last things I'm gonna show you, I think are tops and I have a dress. I'll show you the dress first. I got this to wear on my birthday, on my 21st. It is completely crocheted blue and it's super heavy. I think it's Caché brand. You know, Caché is quite good. They're still running. They're not necessarily that vintage, but the old stuff they used to do, you know that they were for like old women that would slay. So I got this. I love how the crochet is thicker where like the boobs are. When I wore it, I didn't wear a bra. I wore like these bright, pink like disco shorts underneath and it was just like really cool it fits me really well blue is really nice on blondes i love green though and brunettes oh my god that is like the best combo i don't really wear dresses that often but i'm trying to i guess branch out a bit so the next things i have are some tops i found this one at goodwill my memory card just got full <laughs> i honestly imagine in real life if someone said to you sorry you have to stop talking your memory card's full i wish life this um, levi silver tab shirt 
Damn, this shit is so groovy. Oh my god. It's gonna be so dope in the winter with like a brown fringe leather jacket over it and some super high-waisted like should you like black or blue jeans? That'd be kind of cool. I don't know. It's really stretchy as well, which is cool. And yeah, it's a size small made in the USA. I just really liked it. I was gonna sell this initially, but I don't know. See people on there, they've got some really good stuff on their Depop and mine is pretty shit because I really don't want to sell the stuff I like. You know, I want to keep the stuff I like and I want to sell the stuff I don't like anymore. That's why it's not the best, but I'm gonna get over that in a bit. So I'll be putting some good stuff on there in a second. Definitely stay tuned. I got this one uh, from Goodwill as well, I think. I just liked it. It was like a cropped striped shirt. It's 75% it's silk, 25% nylon. Honestly, when silk is in a shirt, it gives it such a nice weight. Well, I really liked this and it crop it's like cropped just at the right place. So uh, when you've got like some high-waisted stuff, it just shows like a millimeter or like a centimeter or whatever of um, midriff, which is hot. So yeah, I really liked this and the colors were cool. I got this Guns N' Roses tee. I don't think this is like vintage. It says it's bravado or whatever. I just liked it. Like I'm, I'm not like the biggest Guns N' Roses fan. I just really liked how it was like a muscle tee. And I've wanted to turn one of my true vintage tees into a muscle tee, but I just don't have the balls for it. Like, I can't, just can't cut it. Like, I got this one. I might wear it, I might not. It'd be kind of cool just tucked in. And my last two is this one. I actually got quite a few questions about this on Instagram when I posted it on my story. Yeah, this is like 100% cotton. really like this. The colors on this is so nice. It just got some stripes, a really cool pocket, buttons down the front. I just like the pastel colors. More into like a primary color rainbow. You know, like um, I got the Unif Crayola sweater in the primary colors. And the more into those colors than these because I know there's a Unif sweater like this. But yeah, so this would actually look kind of cool under that. But yeah, so I'm into that. It's kind of cool. I don't think I can wear that much though in the winter. More of a summer piece. And the last thing is super basic, but it's a um, Hermes white button down. I got this on Depop. Was it Depop? Yeah, I got this on Depop. I think it was like 30 bucks. Honestly, some of these people on Depop do not know what they have. So look out for these things. Um, and yeah, it's 100% cotton. It's really nice to have a plain white button down. I have so many of these, but I decided I'd add a white one to my black and red Hermes shirt collection. I think that's it. Also, the shirt that I'm wearing is new. I don't know if you guys want to see it. It's like... 100% silk, really into silk, and I'm super into denim, so this combo was like definitely giving me some inspiration today. But yeah, so that's my haul. I hope you guys liked it, and I hope it wasn't all over the place. Let me know if you want me to do some more. I have so many things. Honestly, when I was pulling these out to show you, I was like, is that too many to pull out? Because I've got so many more. Um, please let me know. Leave comments if you want some more. I want to do a whole series, but I don't know if I should. Let me know. I'm still in the process of editing my Q&A. Something in the sound got messed up, so hopefully that'll be up soon. I might have to refilm it, but oh well. Follow me on all my social media, Instagram, Depop, Snapchat, what else do I have? Fucking everything. Anyway, <laughs> I'm rambling. So yeah, have a really good day. I'm really far from the camera, but have a really good day, and I hope to speak with you guys soon. I'm gonna be doing a filming schedule now, so I'm gonna hopefully be uploading three times a week. I don't know the days yet, but stay tuned, subscribe, so that you can see if I upload any more. Share with your friends interact with me. I follow people back. Um, I love talking with people. So yeah, have a really good day. Have a really good summer or winter, wherever you are. And see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>